Steve Mignani here for the Acid or Auctioneer's Great Texas Mopar Horde Auction Event with item number 53. This is a 1966 American Motors Marlin. And while it's not a Chrysler product, it kind of is. But either way, it's a cool car. Now, we all know the Marlin was basically a Rambler Classic with the fastback roof kind of added on. But they're neat cars. This one is an original paint yellow and black example. And judging from the rear fender quarter panel, we see 287. That means it has the smallest V8 possible, the 287 two-barrel. Now, we get the magnet out. We see that this car has not been doctored. This is the original yellow paint a little bit of bubbling happening here yeah eventually that's going to have to be addressed but it's not poking through yet but still a little bit of little bit of rust starting to happen quarter panels here look really good again some bubbling but it's not coming through yet the doors look fantastic as well let's peek inside and okay this is kind of unusual it's a very austere one it has the bench with a column shifted transmission, no buckets and console. That was extra cost. This does have a dealer add-on air conditioner under the dash, but most importantly on this one, three-speed manual transmission on the column. Very cool. Again, that was the base transmission in the Marlin. Seldom seen these days. Again, most of these were automatics or four on the floor, but yep, you could get a three on the tree if you wanted it. Let's proceed forward. Front fender also looks to be pretty nice. Does this want to stick? And yes, it does. That's cool. A little bit of a crease right here, but again, I'd rather see a dent than rust any day. Love the Marlin logo from American Motors. 14-inch wheels on these cars. And again, these front fenders are shared with uh, lesser Rambler Classics and that sort of thing, so they're easily found. Okay, under the hood, we will find that 287 V8. And there it is. I don't see a radiator, but those are easily found when needed. I see manual steering manual drum brakes discs were an option not found on this one and this is the 287 with i'm gonna say a two barrel holly carburetor something like oh 205 horsepower somewhere around there and here's the vin right here a6 ks97 and i like this the sequence is 101047 this is the 1047th rambler or vehicle off the kenosha wisconsin line for 1966. it's nice and rust free and uh, these cars do enjoy a following you could either restore this one as a nice driver or build it up as a hot rod what you do is up to you but bid now